Hey there, yeah, come on, welcome back to the channel and prepare to unlock the secrets of happy users within your Android app. Today we'll delve into the fascinating world of activities, the very building blocks that orchestrate the magic behind your app's functionality. Just like a conductor leads the grand orchestra, activities guide your users through each scene of your app, transforming their interactions into a harmonious experience. Let's get to know them and how they manage to do that. Imagine that sheet music in front of the conductor as an activity in your Android app. It defines the structure and layout of a particular scene within your app. Each activity represents a single screen of view, like a home screen, a settings page, or a game level. Just like the conductor leads the orchestra, the user interacts with your activity components via the Android system facilities, bringing your app's functionality to life. As the creator of that symphony your activity represents, you should make sure it does not break so that both the maestro, the Android system, and the public, your users, remain happy to listen to it. Just like an orchestral performance has different stages like tuning instruments, the main piece and concluding notes, an activity in your rap goes through a life cycle. Think of it as the conductor guiding the orchestra through each phase. This will allow you to hook certain tasks in response to your activities state changes. The musicians take their seats adjust their instruments and prepare to play. This is tuning up. Similarly, in OnCreate, your activity is first created and all the necessary elements for the screen are initialized, like buttons, images and text getting ready for user interaction. The downbeat. The conductor raises their baton and the orchestra begins to play. On start signifies the activity becoming visible on the screen, ready for the user to take control. The music swells, and all eyes are on the conductor leading the performance. On resume indicates the activity is now in the foreground, receiving user inputs and in full focus. Maybe the soloist takes center stage for a moment, or the orchestra needs a short break. On pause represents the activity losing focus, perhaps due to another activity coming on top, like opening a notification. On stop signifies the activity becoming completely hidden, like during a short pause between movement in a symphony. The last chord fades, and the musicians pack up their instrument. On destroy is called when the activity is no longer needed, and is about to be destroyed. Similar to how the orchestra disbands after the final performance. Just like an orchestra conductor seamlessly transitions between different sections of the music, the Android system manages multiple activities within your app. The system decides which activity to display based on user actions and app logic. Think of it as the conductor interpreting the sheet music the app logic and using gestures, user actions, to switch between different sections, activities of your application functionalities. For example, tapping a button in one activity might launch a new activity for a different screen, like moving from the main menu to a specific music player screen. By understanding activities, You've grabbed the fundamental building block for creating a harmonious user experience in your Android apps. Now you can design different activities for various screens within your app, just like composing different movements within a symphony. Remember, understanding the activity lifecycle ensures a smooth and efficient flow for your app users allowing them to conduct their own unique experience with your application. Thanks for joining us on this musical exploration of Android activities, Jay Hakama. We hope this video has ignited your creativity in composing your own masterpiece apps. 
If you have any question or want to see more of these videos, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures in Android development. See you next weekend.